guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing another nail video and this time i'm going to be showing you guys how to remove your own shellac nails at home and then doing your own manicure at home as well to save some moolah um i actually do have shellac nails on my nails currently and i feel like it's just time to remove them and do a fresh set i actually got this out of the nail salon but i don't feel like going to the nail salon anymore especially with the pandemic going on. I don't wanna risk getting COVID or giving COVID to any one of my family members. So I'm trying to do this stuff at home. And I figured I would show you guys what I do to get a perfect uh, salon nail look. Um, so what I have going on today is I just came back from Shoppers and I got some nail, I got a nail file. I got some nail polish. So I'm gonna be using the SC Marshmallow in today's video. It's like an off-white, like creamy color. And then I also did get Bally Slipper for like another option in case I don't like this one. Um, I got some regular nail polish remover and then some acetone to remove the shellac. Some little uh, pads here to remove the shellac. And then I also do have this uh, Essie All-in-One uh, top coat, base coat, and strengthener for your nails. So I figured this was like perfect because it's all-in-one and it does the job. So I'm going to be using that as, as like a base coat and a top coat. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I do my nails, then please keep watching. But before I get this video started, I'm letting you guys know that I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway. I'm giving away a Tiffany Co. necklace when I reach 1,000 subscribers. And we are getting close. I just did my 500 subscriber giveaway um, where I picked two lucky subscribers to get $50 gift cards wherever they wanted. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be... Hi guys, so I actually pre-recorded this video. So I ended up actually doing the video for the details for the Tiffany & Co. necklace. So make sure you guys go check out the video. It's called My Tiffany & Co. Giveaway. And I basically tell you guys everything that you need to do in order to qualify for the giveaway. So yeah, make sure you guys go check it out. You do not want to miss it. And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. So yeah, the video is up and you guys can go check it out. Obviously subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle somewhere on the screen. Um, but it's yellow and erratic. Right. Without further ado, let's just get right into today's video. I also will show you guys. I'm also using like a really like old towel underneath my counter just because I don't want to ruin any of my stuff. Um, I actually have hair dye on it because I literally use it when I dye my hair. But I have the um, what's it called drill as well that I use and a bunch of other nail products in there. I have two bowls to soak my hands in for the acetone and also to do the manicure and stuff. So yeah, let's get right into today's First thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be actually buffing out my nails uh, to remove the top coat of the shellac. So I'm just gonna put a new little fresh head on there, but I'm using the Maricat. Um, it's a little pink drill that I got from Amazon. Um, I have a nail video all about it on one of my previous videos if you guys are interested where I show you guys how to do dip as well but I feel like dip just takes too long and I just don't have the patience for that so I feel like regular nail polish is just the way to go right now um and I'm very OCD about my nails I mean my nails for someone else would be probably still good but I literally have OCD I hate the way my cuticles are looking right now and I got my nails done like literally a week ago and it's just not cute so I need to do another little touch up so I'm gonna just be I do actually end up wearing a mask when I do this, so if it's kind of hard for you guys to hear me, bear with me, um, because I don't want to get any of the dust or anything anywhere else other than, you know, the area that I'm doing it at, so. All right, so this is the little drill, so I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to put it on really low. I'm just literally just going to be filing down the first little layer of the top coat. Again, really slowly because I don't want to damage my nail and I don't want to um, file down too much of my nail. So I forgot to mention that you also do need like a little scraper to remove the gel once the acetone has um, set itself in your nail. So make sure you guys have that. All right, so as you guys can see, my nails are filed down. So I'm just going to put acetone over them and let them sit for like 10 minutes and then just remove it with this little guy here. Tin foil over here. I'm just going to, I usually use a cotton pad, like those little like, circle ones but this was the only thing that I had so I'm just going to be using this just drenching it and putting it over my nail making sure it's like tighter and I'm going to be doing that throughout my entire hand so I'll come back after that I'm is how my hand's looking I'm just literally scraping off the shellac as you guys can see I've done these two nails so I'm just going to do this one to show you guys so I have my little tool here and I'm literally just going to be scraping it off and 
And as you guys can see, it's coming off. Sometimes it doesn't come off right in the first um, soak in, so you have to soak it in again. Like this one's not coming off that well. I'm just gonna soak it in again. And then the same thing with this one. This one's coming off a lot easier, as you guys can see. File and you're just gonna file your nails to your desired shape. So I like my nails very square and I like the edges very square as well. So I'm just gonna be doing that. And that's how they look and I'm just gonna do my other hand and then move the shellac and then I'll get back here and tell you guys what to do next right, so now the shellac is all gone and I just put some really warm water in this bowl I'm just gonna do the manicure I'm gonna clean my cuticles I'm gonna show you guys that so basically what I'm doing is I'm just basically going to be whoops dunking my hand oh I also as I said filed my nails but I'm gonna be dunking my hand in here for a good maybe like two minutes one minute and then just cleaning my cuticles up um, with this little cuticle cutter. I love clean, fresh cuticles. It's like my favorite thing in the world. I find it so satisfying, so this is like my favorite part. Uh, but yeah, my nails are looking pretty nice, pretty healthy. Obviously, I'm gonna have some like little like white patches on it because of the shellac, but yeah. All in all, they look pretty good. So super simple to remove your own um, shellac and yeah i'm gonna be using the marshmallow color it's a very like christmasy color and we are in december so i figured it'd be a perfect color to use and then again i'm gonna be using the base coat and top coat the all-in-one um little thing there so also i got this filer from shoppers and it's actually so freaking good it was like 350 canadian so good i love it i love the shape of it because it's really easy to file my nails square and I'm very like OCD about my square nails. <laughs> I love them like really, really sharp and square. So yeah, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer just so my cuticles can warm up. And yeah, so I'm just gonna take them out. So that's how they look. So I'm just gonna clean the cuticles. Again, you gotta be really, really careful. You don't cut yourself in this because it's really easy to cut yourself. But all you just gotta do is just Gently remove the cuticles along the sides. Again, very gently. I've cut myself numerous times doing this, but I find when you apply nail polish, this is like the best way for it to look like a like professional manicure. So and when it's like really wet, you're hands it's really easy to just like remove the cuticles so again really gently but as you guys can see my cuticles are looking so much better so yeah you don't want to like overdo it um, and then I'm just taking the sharp edge and just cleaning up any like dead skin or anything um, but yeah you don't want to overdo it because then that's going to cause you to bleed which is no fun and I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm done the entire hand and yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. Alrighty guys, so now that I cleaned my cuticles, I'm going to basically just buff out my nail and then apply the all-in-one uh, coat and then apply the two coats of Marshmallow Essie. So when I do that, I'm going to come back to you guys, but I'm just going to show you quickly how I just buff my nails really quick. I don't do this a lot just because I don't want my nails to get thin, um, but I do it essentially so they just look clean and it's just flat surface for my polish to go on to. How the all-in-one uh, base coat, top coat, and strengthener looks like, so I'm just going to be applying this. Alrighty, so we're just gonna let this dry and then we're gonna apply the marshmallow. So now I'm just going to apply the 
marshmallow color. I just wanted to show you guys, so this is how the nails look. This is the final result. They look so professional. They literally look like I went to a nail salon and I did them at home and I saved moolah. And yeah, I did them the way that I like them and I just love it. They just look super good. I'll show you guys my other hand just so you guys don't think that I... I'm just showing you the good hand. So this is my other hand. Again, they're super easy to do. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please remember to subscribe and follow me on Instagram so you guys are entered in my giveaway. Um, and yeah, if you guys like these type of videos, then remember to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!